G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to the 8th episode in season number 1 for the FIFA 17 Liverpool. Liverpool, I was trying to see where it was, but Liverpool Dream Team Career Mode Series. Thank you guys for the support you have been showing on the series so far. I'm enjoying producing the series. It's probably my favourite series to enjoy, like, to, to produce, I should say, annually the Dream Team Series. So, if you are enjoying it, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Also, hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Become the 12th man on the Dream Team. Some very interesting Premier League games on the agenda today. Hopefully, we can get nine points from the three games. We also will be looking at our youth squads. We're getting some reports back. Keen to see what the future of Liverpool looks like. But before we can get into the gameplay, we have to answer your press conference questions. So let's do that now. So as per normal, fellas, if you want to have the opportunity to have your question potentially answered in the next episode, don't forget to leave a question in the comment section down below. Joshy Sargent says, how do you feel about the injuries to Wijnaldum, Royce, and Firmino? I'm not happy. Of course I'm not happy. Now, luckily, one of those injuries has been scrapped. Wijnaldum is coming back into the first team. He's recovered from his injury. But Marco Royce and Roberto Firmino, those are two players we did not want to lose. Royce was slowly starting to develop into a decent Premier League player. Firmino has been one of our best players this season and it's pretty unfortunate that we've lost these two guys. But it just does give a lot of our rotational players, the players that won't get too many games, an opportunity to really prove themselves whilst Marco Royce and Roberto Firmino are out. But overall, I'm not too happy. Ajis Sakaladiz says, what tattoo do you have? Now, a lot of people noticed in the last episode that I did get a tattoo. I'm trying to show it here. You can't really see it. My weird, I got a, my, both my wrists are both on weird angles, but it does say, Hard work forever pays. That's my favorite quote, my favorite motto. It's what I live by. I'm a very big, I have a very good work ethic and I wanted to really get this on my wrist. It, yeah, it's a part of me. I know a lot of people probably think that's a little bit cringe and really aren't too favorable when it comes to tattoos, but that's what it says. If people wanted to know, I'll leave it at that. Stefan Hughes says, what are your plans for the next transfer window? Now, in all honesty, I don't really know. I only have one main concern, and that is in the goal scoring department. None of our strikers have really been stepping up. I've enjoyed using Firmino more at a center forward, center attacking mid role. And Danny Sturridge, he has very, very much disappointed me in this series. So I would say that I'm going to look to go for a world class striker, but. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. We're at the end of November now, so just over a month. Sturridge still has a bit of time to prove himself, but that's my thoughts at the moment. And the final question in today's episode comes from Hoyang Bean Chon. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong, but he says, Karius is unhappy that he didn't start against Southampton as he was in good form with some clean sheets. What are your thoughts on this? This is just a an absolute false rumor. Karius knows that him and Don Rumor would be sharing the goal scoring abilities, goal scoring job this season. I told him that when I brought Don Rumor in, he thought it was fine. I said I would still make him the number one goalkeeper. And I just decided against Southampton to give Don Rumor a shot. Yes, Karius was in form. And yes, Donnarumma did, did let in a cheap goal, but overall, there's nothing to make out of this. It's going to be a rotational position, and that's it. So that will conclude today's press conference. Thank you once again for the fantastic questions, fellas. But now, let's get into the gameplay. We kick today's episode off with a matchup at Anfield against Sunderland. Alright, so here we go, fellas. We kick off today's episode at home against Sunderland. As I said, heading into this game, that I want to get nine points from nine possible points in today's episode. We start things off against David Moyes' Black Cat. Now, looking at the Premier League standings, only 12 games into the season, we are fighting for top four. Sunderland fighting for survival down in 18. So here is our starting 11 for today's game in front of the cop. 
we see that we have Loris Karius back into the starting 11. Lovren and Van Dyke are my two centre backs. Lalana in there, and I've decided to reward Danny Ings. When he's played, he's been half decent. Danny Sturridge hasn't been great, so why not give the Englishman a go up front? And then here is the Sunderland starting 11. David Moyes' men. They've got Mika in goals. No Jordan Pickford, which I don't agree with. Van Arnholt there, he is left. Pickford on the bench. They've got Adnan Yanazai, but I'm not happy about Pickford not being there. In my opinion, he has been one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League this season in real life. They're on the attack here. They've got some decent numbers. Some poor attacking form from Lee Catamore, but it goes to Jan Kirchhoff, the German, pushing up very, very high there. Fortunately, we don't get punished for it. Oh, they're through here. Victor Anichebe, the former Everton man, going out wide to Kazri. Wow, Kazri has scored that one. Are you kidding me? We shouldn't have given him, given him the space, but what is Karius doing there? I thought that was a fairly savable shot. I want to see a better replay. He hits that one. Karius very late to react. But on first glance, that was some very average goalkeeping. Far out. We've got to throw in just before half time. Deli Alley going there to Genie Wijnaldum. We need some support. We go through to Alan Lalana, who goes to Danny Ings. Ings goes through to Nathaniel Klein. In there. It's Lalana. He equalizes Adam Lalana with the open header. There it is, lads. That is one all. A quick response. Very decent passing play. Lovely cross from freaking Nathaniel Klein. And Lalana won the near post. Poor defense from whichever Sunderland player that was. I think it was Larson, but I'll take it. Barini's on the attack here. They've got numbers early in the second half. Up against Van Dyke. Poor defense there. Barini, great save from Karius. Good stuff from Lovren. Deli Alley. Going there to Lalana. Who's going to thread it out to Divock Origi. Whipping that one in there. We'll take the corner. So it's a corner here. Can we make the most of it? It's going to be Mane to whip this one in. Goes there. Very close. Lovren, goal line clearance from Jones. Wine out with a follow up save from Mika. Divock Origi. Lalana through to Deli Alley. Come on, lads. Deli Alley running through. Going to Danny Ings. I see Deli Alley. Deli Alley on the angle. Oh, if we scored that, that would have been a great finish. We have the throw in at least. It's Mane going back here to Wijnaldum. He's going to Adam Lalana. I see Divock Origi. Give him space and he can score it. Origi through. Hits that one. Oh, we're getting so close. Oh, that's poor clearance there. They have a chance here, Sunderland. Larson tipped over from Karius. We're in stoppage time and Sunderland have the corner. I swear to God, if we lose to Sunderland, I'm going to cry. Barini tries the little fancy move. We have a little bit of time here to get something. We'll get the win. Good stuff, Wijnaldum. No, I saw freaking Origi open out on the left-hand side. I was literally about to play it over the top to him and we would have been through. But we have a one-all draw here against Sunderland. By far not our best result. I think we deserved all three points for the, uh, the chances we made. But Sunderland, they held their own. We need to improve for the next game. So, something a little bit nice to see. The Liverpool board have come to us saying, great work. We've achieved one of the goals, 102 million from shirt sales. I think they would all be Jared HD branded jerseys. But we've achieved that goal. That's decent. But more importantly, we have some monthly scouting updates here. Our scouts from Australia and England have come back to us. So a few players here look half decent. Some of the ones that we've scouted for two months are starting to find their place. Bradley Murphy, not a chance in the world. But for the most part, I'm just going to continue. Actually, Isaac King... I'll give him a go, I'll sign him up, but I'm going to scout the rest of the Englishmen. And then for the Australians, let's see what we've got going on here. Sean Hughes looks alright. George Roberts looks alright. Anybody too good? There's nobody that really stands out. This Connor Watson guy actually looks half decent, but he's gone to Derry City. Jamie Martin looks decent, but we want to scout him a little bit longer. Oscar Thomas, not a chance in hell. I'm looking mainly for the guys that I've done two months with. Charles Alexander no chance. Anybody were gone for two months that looks half decent? Not really. I'll continue scouting Australia. And then we'll also have a training session here. The usual suspects being trained. Origi, Pulisic, Gomez, 
Luke Shaw and Bonnaruma. Let's see how the fellas go. Let's see if we can get them up in some overalls and some statistics. Origi goes up to an 81, which is fantastic. Donnarumma goes up a little bit, Pulisic up a little bit, Gomez up a little bit, it's all going up Millhouse. It's all coming up Millhouse, not going up. Damn it Jared, get your Simpsons quotes together. So we travel to one of my favourite stadiums in English football for the second game in today's episode, right down to the south of England, taking on Bournemouth, the smallest club in the Premier League. I was actually strongly considering doing Bournemouth for this Dream Team series. I might even do them for the series next year, but we're not worrying about next year. We're focusing on the now. We have a job to do. We have to bounce back from the draw against Sunderland and get all three points here. Now, if I remember correctly, this game in real life was an absolute classic. I feel like it... I feel like someone won it in the final minutes of the game. My memory's a little bit fuzzy, but I do remember it being a very big game. So here is the Bournemouth starting 11. Arta Borak is their goalkeeper. Jack Wilshere in the midfield. Max Gradell, Fobi. Who do they have on the bench? Tyrone Mings, Callum Wilson, Cook. They've got quite a decent side. I know I say a lot of sides in career mode are decent, but Bournemouth... They are genuinely decent. But then here is our starting 11 for today's game. Made a couple of changes. Donnarumma is our starting freaking goalkeeper. Clavin is the centre-back. Moreno comes back in. I want it to be a little bit spontaneous today. I've also put Divock Origi as our main striker and given Pulisic another crack. Free kick here for Bournemouth in the fourth minute. Jack Wilshere and Daniels lining it up. He jumps over it. Wilshere hits it through the wall straight at Donnarumma. I don't know why he didn't hold on to that one, but at least he got it away. Look on the replay here. He hits it straight at Donnarumma. I don't know, man. That one's put in there. A phobie! Holy crap, I think that was Clavin that got outheaded. What was he doing? Here we go, Pulisic. Can we get something going? We've had quite a lackluster start to the game, but we're going through. Get there, Embray Chan. Oh, that was just a little bit away from him. Here we go, lads. Early in the second half, Delhi Alley running through with it, looking for a support option. He's going to go back to Jordan Henderson. Henderson to Origi. Origi turning, that's a lovely move. Divock Origi, that is a shocker of a finish. Oh, beautiful stuff. Here we go, lads. Can we hit them on the counter-attack? Deli Alley. What was that? Deli Alley. Oh, my God. That was just meant to go a through ball to Pulisic, and it's gone for a goal kick. Through here to Sadio Mane. On the counter-attack, what can we do? Our passing play has been so bad, but Sturridge makes a tackle. Fresh off the bench. Show me why he deserves some more game time. Oh, that's not what you want to do. Luckily, he holds on to possession, though. Chan. Through to Klein. I see you in the middle. Go on. Sturridge hits that one straight at Boric. Not good enough. Not good enough at all. We need a striker in January. I'm going to change up the formation for the last game in today's episode because we just aren't scoring. Not good at all. Sturridge was half decent when he came on, but we're going through a slump. It is undoubtable to see that. It is so clear to see that we are slumping, and I need to make a change. So we are traveling here for the final game in today's episode, another game that we should be winning and I'm hoping, I said coming into the episode, nine points possible, we've got two so far, not what we wanted to see, it's snowing slightly here at the Riverside Stadium, let's see if we can change the way we play and get our season back on track. So here is the Middlesbrough starting 11, Victor Valdez in goals for them. They've got Grant Ledbetter, Gaston Ramirez. They've got quite a strong side. Brad Guzan on the bench. Freaking Jordan Rhodes. Remember when he was a career mode freaking gem? So I've toyed around with our squad a little bit, giving a few different players a crack. Lucas Lever having a rare appearance. Karius comes back in, and I've actually switched around Pulisic and Mane. Mane now on the left, Pulisic on the right. Good stuff, Lever. Oh, they make the tackle, though. Negredo. Going straight past Van Dijk. Going out there. They shoot and Downing almost scored against his former club. Gaston Ramirez here. Free kick for Middlesbrough. 20 minutes into this game. Puts it in the area. Downing with the header. We can't give him that much room. Here we go, lads. Pull the sitch. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Through to Nathaniel Klein. Squares it. Mane, what a save. Victor Valdez. 
That is a top draw save. That would have been a world-class goal if we scored it. We're still on here, though. Lalana, what the hell was that? Oh, thanks, referee. Referee's helped us big time there. Can we capitalize on it? Genie Wijnaldum going through. Adam Lalana, great tackle from Darun. I was just about to shoot. Here we go, lads. It's Danny Ings. He's going to play this one over the top to Christian Pulisic. Brings it down. The American. Ah, oh, that, that was just a stupid decision. Here we go, lads. Danny Ings going through there to Wijnaldum. Holding it up. We're going to go back through to Danny Ings. Hits it. Misses. Get out of it. We're, why are we so bad in front of goals? No other series is, do I miss opportunities like this. How much do you want to pull that one? Here we go. Wijnaldum through there to Pulisic. Holding it up. I see Wijnaldum, but we're going to keep going with Danny Ings. Now we go through. Genie Wijnaldum. He's onside, but it's a save. What a save from Valdez. I thought that was our opportunity. We're getting so close, lads. Mane, 78th minute. Lobbing this one in there. Dejan Lovren misses. Mane, what can we do on the counter-attack? Ings, through to Mane, through to Danny Sturridge, fresh off the bench. I see Mane in the center, but we're going to hold it up here. Danny Sturridge, going to Klein, back to Danny Ings. He hits it, another save from Victor Valdez. Some class goalkeeping here from the Spaniard. Mane whips this one in here. Genie Wijnaldum, off the crossbar, follow-up, goes to Henderson. He's going to hit that one back. Pulisic, Christian Pulisic, off the post. How close can we get? You're kidding me. Another draw. You guys definitely can agree. Surely you can agree that we could have scored three goals there. Valdez saved Middlesbrough's ass. We hit the crossbar. We hit the post. What the hell was that? Oh, that is frustrating. That was probably our best performance out of all three of the games. And we only get a point. We don't even score a goal. A striker. We are going for a striker next episode. Surely you guys can agree that we are getting very, very unlucky in this series. As I said numerous times in this episode, we're closing in on the January transfer window. In fact, I'm going to go across here, have a look. So, not next episode, but the one after, we will enter the January transfer window. My main focus is bringing in a striker because we need to score some goals. But fellas, if you did enjoy today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on the video. I think you would have enjoyed it if you enjoy seeing me suffer. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. We are posting career mode content on the daily. And also make sure you check out my social media links, my Snapchat, my Instagram, and my Twitter. All three of those linked down below as per normal. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.